What's up guys, you're watching my full review of the Yushin 5. can be purchased from the cubicle.us for $17. That is $21 less than its main competitor, the $38 Moe Huachuang that already puts this cube in the lead. It comes with what most people think are the standard Moe shades, though they are actually different. It has a slightly darker orange, darker blue, and lighter green, though they still contrast very well and they are high quality. Moving on to corner cutting. This cube is up to par with most modern 5x5s, corner cutting around here regular, and it has spectacular reverse at around here with a bit of force. So what's really important, the turning. The turning of this cube is very smooth, buttery, and crispy. It's also a teeny bit bumpy, and it feels super nice. The best way I can describe this is kind of like a Moyu Huachuang, though even smoother. The speed is just fine, and overall this cube is amazing to turn. I don't get the small catches on the outer layers like I normally would on the Moyu Huachuang, and one thing to note is the outer layers are a little bit thicker than the Moyu Huachuang that makes them much easier to handle in a 3x3 stage. Overall, this cube has amazing turning onto the design flaws category. Like I said before, this cube does not catch on the outer layers, and this cube hardly ever pops. The only time it will pop is if you have a super serious lockup, and then one of these corner or edge pieces will fly out. As for the standard 5x5 lockups, I think this cube gets them a little bit more than the Moyu Huachuang, though I rarely ever get them in solves, and I normally just get them while scrambling. Though this cube does have another lockup that I don't think is on any other 5x5s. Sometimes if you get the standard 5x5 lockup, it'll get so locked up that somehow these corner piece and this edge piece will end up switching places. I don't know how it happens, but it can be a super serious lockup that can completely ruin one of your solve. My final thoughts in grade for this cube. I definitely think this is the best 5x5 on the market. This would be a great cube for beginners due to the low price, and even worth checking out if you have a good Moe Huachuang. So for a final grade, I will give this cube an A+. I definitely think it's the best 5x5 on the market, and I would highly recommend it to anyone. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye!